Hello everybody, this is my lecture recital on Eric Satie, a classical composer from the late, from the early 20th century. Um, and the first thing to say about Satie, he was strange, okay? Not, nor he was not normal, okay? He's mainly known for, yeah, his strange behavior and how differently he named his pieces. He had a very specific daily schedule that implies very strange timelines. This is a quote from his diary. I rise at 7.18, am inspired from 10.23 to 11.47. I lunch at 12.11 and leave the table at 12.14. A healthy ride on horseback around my domain follows from 1.19 to 2.53 p.m. Another bout of inspiration from 3.12 to 4.07 p.m. He will notice that he has a three minute lunch and over two hours of inspiration th during the day. Normally during inspiration, he would just look up off his balcony and just look up at the sky, basically doing nothing, okay? Although he was born in Honfleur, France, he moved to Paris for most all of his life. He lived most of his life playing piano in a cafe and at a nightclub for extra money. He wrote his own pieces for the cafe and the nightclub also. He wrote very strange diaries about his thoughts, inspirations, and how he lived his life. That's how we, modern day, know how he lived his life back then. He had everything written in his journal. In one part of the diary, he states his previously mentioned daily schedule and what he eats. He would only eat white food, consisting of egg white, sugar, coconuts, rice, cream cheese, and fuchsia juice. He lived by these rules his entire life, his entire life. He enjoyed many things like collecting umbrellas. He had one, over 100 umbrellas. During his time in the music conservatoire, he was a very bad student and even got expelled. His teachers described him as lazy, easily bored, and needed motivation. He had no beauty in him or kindness. So he kept to himself and made himself very isolated, staying away from other people. After he died in his crammy apartment, it was hoarded with newspapers and umbrellas stacked to the ceiling. When they uncovered the mess, there were two grand pianos stacked on one another, along with 100 umbrellas in the pile. In his later life, in the 1920s, he drank very heavily until his death five years later when he was only 59 years old. Satie never married, although he did have friends that weren't complete weirdos, such as Maurice Ravel and Claude Debussy. He lived from 1866 to 1925. I will play, I will perform a selection of pieces, most, one of his more famous pieces, from his two most famous sets. Gymnopody and Nocian. I'll play the Gymnopody number one. This piece is mainly popular for how well it fits in cafes and waiting rooms. It gained attention for that it broke musical laws specifying on how a piece should be composed. Gymnopody number one relies on how sympathetically you can play it. It is considered an easy piece if you can play it, but if you do not play it sympathetically and emotionally, then it would be wrong. So T gives it his pieces, meaning that you have to uncover it throughout the piece. And as you play, they have dictations that tell you what to do instead of using, using musical theory to tell you what to do in, in the proper way. And um, no one knew why he named it Gymnopody. It refers to a Greek dance that men would dance to show off their skill. Naked. <laughs> oh, no. I now play Gymnopoly number one.
Gymnopoly piece I will be playing. The Gymnopoly 2 and 3 are considered boring. <laughs> so I now play Nocian number one. No one, well, they, no scene number one was written without bar lines, which makes it hard to sight read in general, okay? And he broke, again, he broke his, the musical laws, which upsets many other composers. He would, in this piece, he keeps his notes very close together, and this particular piece has a lot of grace notes and is played in waltz form like most all of his pieces. And again, the dictations are throughout this piece that I'll explain in a moment. Songs. He was French and um, forte, so it's more kind of like brighter. It 
be more brighter and it says very radiant. That's where I get that from. And then in a fourth day, it's going to be a light. We have over here deep in thought and we have it in pianissimo. So it's going to be a lot quieter. So these dictations that he wrote throughout the piece, this, he has these words throughout the Went throughout the piece, treasures, song, question is, do the about the pensi, ponzo and vow, pause a pause, so that long. He has them all written all throughout the piece. And then there is no sin, number two. This piece is read in four four time, although it's read in triplets, which has confusing dictations as. Ne sortez pas, or don't go out. Dans une grande bonte, with great benevolence. Sans or gil, without pride. There are a few others I will not mention yet, but this is an 1890 piece. Unlike the other 1888 gymnopodies, Satie invented this new form of writing music where he would not put bar lines. And when he wrote them, he would not put um, he would not put what time signature they're in. We just have to guess and it's written in here. But um, that is what makes it, it's called, he calls it absolute time, where you can play the piece exactly how you want it to be in some of these pieces. And I now play for you the second Nocian. shorter um, pieces um, it is definitely one of my favorites this piece um, with light intimacy you would play I imagine that being played a lot lighter just like it says and then there's without pride I think um, I think of that as like very dark not happy at all you to go with surprise. So with surprise. So you can understand how important these dictations are that he wrote throughout the piece. Now, no CN number three 
is one of the more lighter ones and more delicate, delicately played pieces. This piece is for sure has the most un difficult to understand dictations, such as de manier and obter un crowd, which means so as to get in hollow. That really confuses you when you sight read so as to get in hall. I still don't really know what it means. I am just really guessing. Also, there is Aubert le tete, open your mind. As you, you can tell, as he got older and started writing in pieces, they got weird. <laughs> we, they got weird. They got a lot weirder. You, they just give you a weird feeling in general. And so I will now play No Sin number three. style of sati, but my favorite, my personal favorite, is the second, is the second no sien. And, well, that's, I don't know why, it's just my favorite, okay? And just grab a cup of coffee, just make your way out, I'll play in coffee style. Make, make, yeah, make your way out. 